somebody commented on one of my videos and said, do you realize when you wear a baseball cap, it reduces your intelligence by 50%. And he also said, when your baseball cap's back to front, you look like a year. Forecast said light rain, light rain. It's not light rain, it's hammering it down. Light rain, partly cloudy, yeah? All Bower, All Bower. That's where I used to live. <laughs> Lady Bower even. No, nah, no, nah, it's not partly cloudy, uh, it, uh, and it's not uh, uh, light rain. Frustrating, and I need a wee. I'm going for a wee. So that's better, but you know what? I just walked into the woods there, and I can't leave. Um, even though it's raining because the conditions there are absolutely gorgeous so i'm going to put my jackie on and i'm going to go down and see if i can get a picture because it's gorgeous the rain's getting heavier uh, but a little bit of rain never hurt anybody and the advantage today is whilst it is really silent and this is how wet i've got just getting stuff out of the car um uh, it's not cold so I don't mind a bit of rain if it's not freezing. I'm not quite as inspired now. I'm not quite as inspired as I was when uh, I came down here. Maybe I was hoping for too much. I don't know. I've got nothing to wipe you on. Should I wipe you on my frazzle? I wonder if that's made things worse. Oh dear. I am gonna get a shot. I am gonna get a shot. I'm gonna go back up that way. Oh. You see, this is what's frustrating when coming out with you guys is that you're trying to get something that, that works and it often doesn't, uh, but it doesn't make for a good video, does it? If I come out and go, oh, that's crap, that's rubbish. So I've had a mooch around and can't make anything work at the moment. But uh, I'm enjoying this little path running along here. And um, I'm shooting two seconds at F9 and I'm going home. I'm going to go and get my bag and I'm going to walk up further up, up, up here because there's some contrast in the in the ground further up so may get something in, into my, everything soaking mm. yeah that's looking better everything at the moment is being shooting at f9 everything that you've seen or haven't seen um, and we're at 50 mil I seem to shoot 50 mil a lot when I'm in the uh, in the woods. I still like the foreground element. I'm going to move forward. All we've got is we've got brambles in the foreground. And so I'm actually putting the video camera on so you can see what we're looking at. Uh, the only thing again that's not possibly attractive is the white in the background. But if you do some split toning, you can get away with that possibly. Uh, the reason I'm going for this image is because it is peeing it down the texture of the bark is just beautiful i need to look through the viewfinder as i always do i need to manual focus I want more i'm not motor focusing but i'm using the blinkies so i am manual focusing this all you've learned <laughs> is how to get wet and i'll be honest with you if i get home and i've not got a shot i will be gutted <laughs> So all we're going to do now is we're going to move to a different day, which was actually last week, uh, where it was nice and sunny and frosty.
stopped for a little break uh, because something caught my eye and it's that tree there uh, to the right of the tree it is a little stream that's running down and what we've got in the background there is we've got frost because the sun is coming up over here on the right hand side and the problem that I've got is I can't physically get much closer I could suppose most probably drop down there if you have a look I can't physically get much closer without getting into the uh, reservoir and I ain't got my waders and this reservoir drops down and is deep 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 so I end up going for a swim uh, and so I've got things that are uh, obscuring the shop um, and the first thing is is this tree here on the left hand side I'm pre-visualizing this as a square crop but my pre-visualization might be wrong because what we've got is we've got uh, the reflections in the water and the main dominant reflection is the frost and the tree and I'd end up having to cut some of that off but the problem I've got is to get the composition right because really if the element of interest is that tree that tree needs to be central in the shot doesn't it uh, and if it's central in the shot I've got no choice but to cut off the frost that's reflecting both to the left hand side of it and to the right hand side of it so my gut instinct is that square crop now the other issue that is actually a chance that it will take it from a a nice image to an image that will annoy me and may annoy you is that we've got little bubbles or scum on the water that is breaking up the reflection of the shot particularly particularly the reflection of the tree but I'm just zooming it in and I'm just struggling with understanding how this composition is going to work it's definitely going to be cropped uh, but I'm just struggling whether or not it'll work but uh, uh, until I take the image does it really matter if it doesn't work god i'm not david bailey am i polarizer is on and what we're basically doing is i don't want any glare in that water at all but i don't want to lose the reflections does that make sense so you've got to be careful but i'm going to double check this now and check that everything looks right in the camera because it'd be a shame even if it's iffy that we're going to get an image it'd be a shame if we got home and it, and messed up the focus or messed something up all right what was it doing it was polarized wasn't it that's better that's better what that's done is that has really brought those reflections out so ooh. <laughs> yeah it's not not um a video without me falling on my face or breaking my glasses is it uh, the problem is right is that in my eyes that looks beautiful it looks like a painting and you know what happens don't you you get home and you look at it in camera and it just doesn't feel right or in camera on the computer it's a pretty shot but <laughs> it's don't work the only thing i can think of is if i can get around the other side uh, I'm sitting there telling you, oh, can't get it right. And you're going, move, move. You're not stuck in one place, Jono. Shots there, look. Have a look. I can't get down to the water's edge. The image is here, I need to climb a tree. I've got to admit defeat which is really frustrating <laughs> keep trying eh? so after all that messing about i've just reframed the shot and i thought to heck with it now that the sun's come round, it is a nice image it's just uh, that scum so i've been playing and playing and playing and um what i thought is, is if that scum is going to be there and that scum is going to ruin the shot then I'll put six stop on 
and make something out of it. And the six stop um, may well work. Uh, it'll, there's also some slight ripples in the water as well and uh, uh, it's shooting at 30 seconds at uh, f9 and uh, what the uh, six stop will do is, is you'll get almost a mirror image of what you're photographing in the water especially with the polarizer on because the polarizer makes the water it darkens the water off and emphasizes the reflections so here's that shot i'm going to go for a bike ride i'm going to go and enjoy myself I hope I haven't prattled on too much. You are going to see a lot more of me. Um, I've got a, a monitor to review that I've been testing for 12 months and they're really hounding me now to put it out. But I wanted to check it and make sure that it was something that I would be interested in reviewing. Um, and I'm going to be getting out a lot more and shooting because my little boy says, Dad, you can go and do a bit more editing now because I'm sick of you. So I'm going to go home or I'm going to go for a bike ride um and i will see you all soon please subscribe if you like if you don't don't and then press that little bell button and so you can get a notification when it's time to come back